Hi, it's Miss Jennifer at Somerset Academy of Music, and today we're going to be talking about G minor. I'm going to take you through the G minor scale, all three forms. We're going to look at the natural, the harmonic, and the melodic with all the correct fingerings, and I'm also going to show you how to play one and two octaves. So let's get started. The first thing we want to know about the key of G minor is that it has two flats, and that would be B flat and E flat. So let's go ahead and take a look at the natural minor form of the G minor scale. The letters are as follows. G, A, B flat, C, D, E flat, F, G. G, F, B flat, D, C, B flat, A, G. The right hand fingering is one, two, three, tuck your thumb, one, two, three, four, five. Back down, it's five, four, three, two, one. Cross your third finger over to the B flat. Three, two, one. Great, let's take a look at the left hand. Um, the left hand's gonna use the same letter, so I'm just gonna go over the fingering. Here's the fingering for the left hand. Five, four, three, two, one. Cross your third finger to E flat. Three, two, one. Back down is two, Three, tuck your thumb onto the D. One, two, three, four, five. So let's look at putting hands together. Now, as always, when you're putting hands together on the scale, you want to know where your thumbs go and that your third fingers are going to play at the same time. So our right hand thumb is going to land on G and C, and our left hand thumb is going to land on D and G. Okay? And again, our third fingers will be at the same time. So here's how we put it together. We're gonna, uh, I'm just gonna go through the letters and walk you through the fingering like this. G, A, B flat. Then our right hand thumb is gonna tuck under to C. Both third fingers are gonna play on E flat. F, G. On the way back down, G, F, both third fingers on E flat. Then our left hand thumb goes under to D. Our right hand third finger is gonna cross over to B flat with our left hand third finger. smoother for you. G, A, B flat, C, D, E flat, F, G, F, B e flat, D, C, B e flat, A, G. Okay, let's move on to the harmonic form. Now, the only thing that changes, as always with the harmonic form, is the seventh note of the scale, which in this case is F. We're going to raise it a half step. So instead of playing F, we're going to play F sharp. This means that this scale is going to have both flats and a sharp in the scale. It happens sometimes when we do harmonic and melodic forms. So these are the notes for the right hand. G, A, B flat, C, D, E flat, F sharp, G, F sharp, E flat, D, C, B flat, A, G. The fingers are one, two, three, one, same letters um, so I'll just go over the fingering it is five four three two one crush your third finger to the E flat two goes on F sharp one two three thumb goes on D two three four five all right let's put it together it goes together the same way that the natural form did the only thing we're changing is we're playing F sharp instead of F natural looks like this G, A, B flat, right hand thumb goes on C, D, both third fingers on E flat, reach all the way over to F sharp, G, F sharp, E flat, thumb goes on D, thumb goes on C, third fingers on B flat, A, G, a little smoother. Let's move on to the final form of the G minor scale, and that's the melodic form. And you might remember that in the melodic form, we raise the sixth and the seventh note on the way up, but on the way down, they won't be raised. So the sixth note of the G minor scale is E flat, so we're going to play E natural. The seventh note is F, so we're going to play F sharp. So that means we're going to be playing E natural to F sharp on the way up, but on the way down, 
we're going to come back down and play the F natural and the E flat. Let's take a look at that with the right hand. Looks like this. G, A, B flat, C, D, E natural, F sharp, G. On the way back down, we're going to F natural, E flat, D, C, B flat, A, G. Fingering's the same as the other two forms. Let's look at the left hand. Same thing, we're just going to raise that E and F sharp on the way up, F natural, E flat on the way down. Looks like this. G, A, B flat, C, D, E natural, F sharp, G, F natural, E flat, D, C, B flat, A, G. All right, we're going to put it together. Here we go. G, A, B flat, C, D, both third fingers on E natural, all the way up to F sharp. Here's our turnaround, G natural, coming back down, F natural, both third fingers on E flat, right, left hand thumb goes on D, C, B flat with both third fingers, A, G. Here it is a little smoother. All right, let's move on to two octaves. So the thing that we need to remember is the thing I mentioned earlier in the video is that it's important to know where your thumbs are gonna land and we're gonna put our third fingers at the same time. That will be the most helpful. On the way up the scale, you're gonna to wanna to focus on where you're putting your right hand thumb and getting the third fingers at the same time. And on the way down, you wanna think about your left hand thumb, where does it go, and getting those third fingers at the same time. So remember, our right hand thumb is landing on G and C. Our left hand thumb is going to land on D and G. Okay, so let's do two octaves of the natural form. We'll see how that works. Looks like this. G, A, B flat. Right hand thumb goes on C, D. Both third fingers on E flat. F, both thumbs on G. Now, right here, see how my right hand's on two? That means I'm gonna cross my left hand four because we want both third fingers on B flat. My right hand thumb goes on C, D. Both third fingers on E flat. F, G, here it is back down. G, F, E flat. My left hand thumb goes on D. Both third fingers are on B flat. A, both thumbs are on G. F, third finger goes on E flat, both hands. Left hand thumb goes on D. C, both third fingers on B flat. A, G, here it is a little smoother. playing F sharp instead of F natural. This is what it looks like. G, A, E flat, C, D, E flat, F sharp, G, A, B flat, C, D, E flat, F sharp, G, F sharp, E flat, D, C, B flat, A, G, F sharp, E flat, D, C, B flat, A, G. Okay, let's move on to the final form the melodic, the trickiest one, but really for the scale, um, compared to some other ones, this one's not too bad. So remember, on the way up, we're playing E natural and F sharp. On the way down, we're playing F natural and E flat. Fingering rules apply. Remember where your thumbs go? Third fingers at the same time. This is what it looks like. G, A, B flat, C, D, E natural, F sharp. forms of the G minor scale, natural, harmonic, and melodic, one and two octaves. So if you found this video at all helpful, please, I would really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. Also share with your families and friends wherever you can. And I really appreciate your watching uh, my video and I will look forward to seeing you in the next video where we're going to be taking a look at the C minor scale. Thanks so much and have a nice day.